amazing to me that it's actually been 15 years since my diagnosis. And um, I love it when people say you don't look old enough. <laughs> um, I recently had some Botox. Um, I'll tell you why. I actually did a little video, and it was all the crazy things that women do for beauty, and they won't get their mammogram. So I spent a day in New York City going around. I got a Brazilian. I got Botox. I got a tattoo. I put on a Spanx. And then I got my mammogram. And everything hurt more than the mammogram. It was amazing. Um, but it, it's amazing this program, Look Good, Feel Better. I actually wasn't aware of it when I was diagnosed, and I looked awful during my treatment. And I wish I knew about it because it would have helped me. I went to work, and everyone in 2020 looked amazing, and I looked green, and um, I had a comb over. And I always wondered why uh, my dad had a comb over, <laughs> but I was just holding on to that hair. and. You know, it's incredible. When I heard about this program, it made me feel smarter because there was the lipstick theory that was coined by this brilliant, famous oncologist. And uh, for me, lipstick, as Luann said, was my war pain. I need to let you know that I never felt confident enough to wear lipstick. I was a gloss girl. My book starts with something called the Lipstick Manifesto. It's the courage to wear red lipstick. I used to look at you, I see some of you out there with your red, and uh, I used to watch you in the, in the bathroom with envy and awe when you put it on. Every stroke seemed to say, notice me, I deserve this. I definitely wasn't that daring yet. But surprising me, surprisingly, that day, uh, the day after my 28th birthday, I was wearing my hospital gown. I looked down, it said, property of Mount Sinai Hospital. I too strangely felt I was becoming property of the hospital. And I wanted to appear. I wanted to become the woman I never thought I could be. How ironic when I was losing my breast and my hair. And I wanted to announce to the room that I knew I would wear lipstick on my own terms next time. Lipstick felt glamorous, it felt hopeful, it felt so far away from the scalpel. And um, it was amazing when they woke me up seven hours later in recovery. The nurse was screaming at me to breathe. She was going to have to hook me up to a respirator. She paused and she said, girl, what kind of lipstick do you have on? Because that